Well, then we're all agreed. We want this fellowship to stay, but Merlin sees our future and is worried for us. What is it based on? I'll tell you what it's based on. It's based on that word that you are afraid to speak. Money. 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 Okay. Okay. I hereby abolish the law. The time has come to speak money. Guinevere, you have a report on the subject? In fact, I do. It would seem that those who attend Orthodox Christian churches and Jewish synagogues donate 10% of their annual income to their church or fellowship. <clears throat> Surely, with reasoning and logic, we can get better investment advice. I have made a calculation. We need no more than a mere 9%. Thanks. How are we how would we convince the members of that? Uh, well, I think that it, we should make it very fashionable, make it an honor to give. Then everyone would want to give. Yes. We must all dig a little deeper. Just who does this guy think he is? I don't have any deeper. Well, they say he, he slew a dragon and tamed another. <laughs> well, what I heard was that he bored one to death and with his endless prattling and that the other one follows him around because he's a bigger wimp than he is. <laughs> but who cares? I'm going to be retiring in a month. And you know what that means. Yay, I know. Less deeper. <laughs> Your Majesty, perhaps uh, we, we should consider, you know, adding to our calculations the fact that some of our members are in very tight, low income, they are on fixed incomes. Uh, actually, <laughs> medical bills. Dragon food bills. <laughs> well, how would our future look then, Merlin? Well, I see that we still exist in the year 2010, when we are asked only to pledge 4% of our adjusted gross annual income. Well, I'm sure our members would be much relieved. Allow me, Your Majesty, to pledge my undying dedication to this inspired cause. I pledge 9% of my annual income. Oh, wow. Do you even have an annual income? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, but will you give it? Well, yes. Why wouldn't anyone want to pay? Uh, your, your Majesty, uh, there's more to this than the pledge. You know, I mean, we can make a realistic pledge. You know, for some of us, 4%. 5%, maybe some can handle 9%, maybe it's only, you know, 1% to be realistic. But no matter what we pledge, if the pledge isn't paid, it doesn't do us any good. In fact, it harms us when we try to do our budgeting. Please consider. Like I said, why wouldn't anyone want to pay? Oh, they'd want to pay, they'd just forget. They forget this building, this fellowship. By the end of the year, you will have forgot that you signed that. <laughs> Not I. If, if ever I forget you, it would not be in summer. How I'm forgetting summer. When he grips the air, I know the fields in summer, and I must pay my share. If ever I forget you, it would not 
be in autumn, seeing you in autumn, I never forget. The paint stream from sunlight, the grounds looking lame, the walls lacking luster, that puts me to shame. be in springtime knowing how at this time we want so to grow oh no not in springtime summer winter or fall no never would I not pay it all Oh, I really do. <laughs> oh, I still wonder how we will convince the other members. We've gotten off track. This meeting has been called to decide how to handle the pledging this year. Let's distract the members with a musical play. We wouldn't oh. stoop so low. Oh. Yes, I want to play in a canvas play. Me too. I want to be the best actor. The person that you are is a thousand times more interesting than the best actor you could ever hope to be. We don't need a show. Just tell your members the truth. That's right. So let's have a play. No! no. no. Here there may now be the only place in society where people can go to hear the truth. No. This fellowship is a, another place in society where people can go to hear the truth. They hear the truth here. We don't need to distract them. They hear it and they love it. Wait, Your Majesty? Starting to be clear to me now. People are disturbed, not by things, but by the way they view things. How to handle the canvas. There's a way we all can stand. A way known by every member since the you you began. Do I flatter? I beg you answer. Do I fret, cajole, or plead? Do I prove and play the gay romancer? Say I, smiling, no indeed. The way to handle the canvas, simply a bit. The way to handle 